Hello everybody, Eminent Storm here, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. In the last episode, we worked on building up our military power and doing our research, going through our national focuses, and at the end of the episode, I put it out to you guys what, uh, how we wanted to move forward. And I wanted to get your suggestions, and it looks like that the, the biggest suggestions that I got uh, from the most people um, was to go for a global conquest. So we are going to go for a world conquest and see if we can get that done. And to do that, we are going to need a lot more troops in the field. I mean, a lot more troops in the field. So we need to, and we also need to start taking some territory uh, locally. Um, I was looking at possibly going to war with Albania. We have some focuses to do that. The problem is, the big problem is this. The Indian independence of Albania is guaranteed by Italy, which means if we declare war on Albania, we will go to war with Italy. I don't know what Italy's focus tree looks like. I know that they can declare war on or basically annex Albania. Albanian occupation. Cleveland, Yugoslavia, befriend Bulgaria. I've never really looked at their focus tree before. Um, treaty with Germany. Where do they get Albania? It's an Italian ultimatum right here. It gets influencing our politics. Hmm. Well, we'll see have to see how it goes. We're on non-historical focuses, so who knows what Italy's gonna do. Alright, well let's just go ahead, let's take a focus, and let's just go ahead and get Lone Way. Let's get that out of the way. Get unpaused here. I might have to cut the recording short a little bit tonight, because of some time constraints that I run into, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, oh, we're short some steel. Uh, can I trade for some steel? Let's go ahead and go get some steel from Germany. And let's see, we currently have a multi-factory in construction. What I'm thinking I'm going to want to do is I need some close air support planes. So I'm going to queue them up so that military factory should immediately go into there and then we'll start working on some close air support. And how is this going? Okay, we got a new unit trained here. And actually, I think I want to change the color of this unit. Switch them over to blue. Um, and what I'm actually thinking... Oh, hold on. Modifier government. And I was looking through here, and I'm thinking the best thing to do is to switch over to partial mobilization. It reduces the amount of factories um, that... It, it basically is just overall better, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Because world tension is over 15%, so we can do it. Um, so that's going to increase our uh, factory construction speed significantly. And also, we did get some tanks. So I have armored divisions in here now. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to train some of those. Get them out there. Oh, fleet and being. Uh, what do we want to do? Ooh, improve your war artillery. Um, it's 37. I'm going to go for the improved machine tools for better factory efficiency. And we are going to go for motorized equipment. For trucks. Oh, low and away. Oh, we have the uh, day night cycle. Let me turn that off. Uh, it has a tendency to turn itself on sometimes. Alright. Now, 
ultimately, I want to take out Turkey. Because that is a big prize. Lots of territory. But I don't necessarily want to do it now. I have nowhere near the military capability to do it. Um, influence Albania. You know what? I'm going to take that. Start. But I'm not going to take the one that, that sends us to war with Albania just yet. I've got some guys that are trained. Let's get those guys over there. And what I want to do is I want to switch this guy over to a general and switch this army over to a field marshal. Uh, we can modify our government again because we've got a whole bunch of political power from that focus. We really need to get um, extensive conscription. But we have to be at war or... Well, we have to be at war for that to happen. So let's go ahead, let's take a, a military high command. Let's go with uh, the artillery expert there. And let's go with the chief of the army for army offense. I think we're probably just going to let these guys train out. Oops, superior firepower. Let's keep working on our infantry doctrines. Uh, let's go with air manufacturers, light air aircraft designer. And we should have some aircraft. Yes, we do. Let's get some fighters out there. Let's get some close air support out there. Let's set these guys to... Uh, fill out till we have 200 planes in each wing. There we go. Oh, radio. Uh, let's see. What do we want to go for? Let's get some better construction. And where do we want to put these? I think we want to put them in artillery. Because I'm not making a lot of artillery. And we have a massive shortage of artillery. Do we want these guys continuing to train? Or do we think that's good enough? I think that's going to be good enough for now. And let's just pour everybody into that army. I think I want to take this cavalry division. We don't want any cavalry. I'm going to turn them into armor. What do we want to do next? Let's see, they're 93%. Oh, they're pushing out. Thing is, they don't have any artillery. Let's say when these are going to be done. 22nd of January, 1938. Current deployment level is 1, green. They're, they've almost got the artillery they need. I think I'm just going to go ahead and force them out. They're green. They should be fine. We have enough trained uh, units on our front that it'll be okay. What I want to do is, I want to uh, use some of this army experience. Let's add a recon company to those armored divisions.
Now, thing is, we're not strong enough to take on Turkey yet. We're nowhere near strong enough to take on Italy or Great Britain. So we need to start knocking off some of our smaller neighbors like Bulgaria and Yugoslavia. Influence Albania. Okay, we finished that. Um, let's go ahead and take militarism to get more recruitable population. Actually, let's go ahead and move these guys over to Bul the Bulgarian front. Yes, yeah, to the Bulgarian problem is, is that since we are a non-aligned state, since we're not an aligned state, we need world tension to be at 50% to start justifying war goals. Which means we need to wait for a few things to happen. We need to wait for the Spanish Civil War to be over, which is about to happen there, because that's going to increase some tension. We need to wait for... Well, Japan's doing pretty well over here. Uh, probably the Anschluss of Austria and the Treaty of Munich and then the eventual annexing of the Czech Republic. Or, you know, half of Czechoslovakia. Um, to see if the tension gets pushed over 50%. And hopefully, hopefully, we won't run into a situation where we'll then start having um, the allies in a democratic uh, nation start guaranteeing the independence of the guys we want to uh, destroy. Um, so, yeah. Or what we wait for is for World War II to break out and then go to war with Italy go to war the Axis, and use World War II as a um, distraction, essentially, for us to try to gain some territory there. Uh, what can we do here? Limited exports? Free trade? No, I don't want to do free trade. We're not being influenced by anybody yet. Let's go with air safety. Oh, we got five experience again. Let's add... Will adding a artillery change my speed at all? No, let's add some artillery in there. To our armor divisions. I mean, we're already, you know, way behind on artillery, but... So it's not like they're actually going to get any artillery anytime soon. Uh, how's it going? Okay, we're building that refinery. Then we start working on those naval yards. What we're gonna do is... We need to queue up some ships. Hydra class... Improved machine tools... Ellie class. Well, let's do that. Technology. It's uh, 38 now. Oh, fall of Nanjing. Let's go ahead and start improving our infantry equipment. Do we want to pull these guys out so far? Um, yeah, let's just push these guys out. They should be all right. And I think I want to actually bring these guys out of that army. Uh, combine them with these armored divisions, which probably don't have any actual armor in them yet. And make them an, a, a separate army. Might give them a color. And let's put them on a line. Uh, 
Angelos of Austria. We finished militarism. What do we want to do? We need more industry. That is definitely what we need. Hellenic Armada. So I think what we're going to do is we are going to go... One of the following. Improve infrastructure, national computing center, general development. Let's grab these civilian factories. Alright, so that brought tension up to 24%. All right now, what are you doing, Germany? Demand Sudetenland. Okay. I'm hoping that that's going to increase tension. We need 26% more tension. Well, Japan is doing well over here, but not so hot up here. I wish I could send volunteers. I don't think we can even do it. Can force government of another country to adopt the same ideology? Can public a country? Elections every one year. Despot. Um, anyway, I think we need world tension at 40% to send volunteers. This is what it says, anyway. Alright, so we're just going to roll things at speed here. Manguko has capitulated. Well, that's no good for Japan. But Japan has multiple naval invasions now. So I don't think that's really going to avail China. Oh, we just finished motorized. Okay, so we're going to need to build motorized. Let's improve our infantry equipment. Guess we should just go ahead and uh, get motorized equipment building. Oh, we just finished something else. Um, 1938. We want to go for resource gain efficiency. Let's go with computing machine. Research time minus 3%. How far along are they? Oh, they're almost there. Munich, German demands for that land border territory up oh, in China, Czechoslovakia. Oh, we just finished urbanization. Go with improve infrastructure. We'll take our tank designer. I guess they got it. Molotov Ribbentrop Pact. Not gonna. Oh, the German Reich declared war on Czechoslovakia. I guess because Czechoslovakia declined to give them the Sudetenland. That only brought world tension up to 36%. I needed it at 40. No, I needed it at 50. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and get some engineering companies. Engineer companies. So we want to add those in. German Reich took... Oh, there we are. We're at 50%. Okay, so... 
Begin justifying a war goal. Conquer. I want Sophia. Send it. How long is that going to take? 30th of January, 1939. I got to keep an eye on that before it hits to make sure that... Oh, you guys finished, so let's put you up there. To make sure that Great Britain doesn't swoop in and guarantee their independence. Because I've played some... Um, well, some games on my own and some actually multiplayer games with some buddies of mine, and we ran into that problem where, um, keep them up with the fence, let's do that, um, where that's what happened, is we were trying to justify war goals on everybody, and then right before the justification would complete, uh, Great Britain would guarantee independence. Take a Molotov ribbon trop. Okay. Improve infrastructure. We'll go for the National Intelligence Agency. Develop Thrace. Military factories. We're going for the tech slot. We're going for the tech slot. That's really more important than anything else right now. Um, how is our training going? Ooh. We are short more steel. Let's just kick up. Uh, let's add in a... We want to get a battleship building? These are kind of antiquated battleships. We want to do some destroyers. Uh, let's go for more heavy cruisers. Let's get something in the water. Let's just push these guys out. I know they probably don't really have any tanks in them, but... It's alright. Let's see what it is. 1938. What do we got? Let's get some better tanks. Light tanks. October, still nothing. Yep, 30th of January, 39. So they have completed the Molotov Ribbentrop Pact. Taxes calls for war against Bulgaria. Okay. Still good there. Oh, free civilian factories. Oh, we finished our construction. Uh, do you want to go with more civilian factories or more military factories? I say we go for more military factories. And queue up a bunch of... Uh, naval... Yards. And let's go ahead and add them in there. Okay, we're short on steel. Well, actually, what does Bulgaria have as way as resources? Nothing. Two aluminum, that's it. But I'm sure they have factories. So. Ever finished engineer company? No, I haven't yet. National Intelligence Agency, finish that. Let's go for the National Atomic Research Foundation. Push units out. Again, they can train in the field. Uh, do I want to hold on to this? Commerce rate, naval manpower, naval speed. I think I should hold on to the political power right now. 
Because as soon as we're at war, we can change our um, recruitment laws to increase our conscription rate. December, we've got a, two more months. So far, no guarantees. Come on, we need to get there before this drops below 50%. Um, how goes Japan? Well, Japan is working pretty good. Wait a minute, Republican Spain hasn't capitulated? Yeah, Nationalist Spain hasn't been able to win yet. Come on, guys. Get Barcelona and win this thing. Can I actually, like, send volunteers? I'm gonna do Lend Lease. No, we actually can't send volunteers because we are non aligned. It does tie our hands a little bit, but. You know, we'll we'll make it work. We'll make it work. Oh, one thing we probably should be doing is giving our guys a battle plans. That would be useful. There we go. Justification is going to be finished. Yep, computing machine. Uh, what do we want? We need some more imagery equipment. Let's get um, decryption. Let's do decryption. Oh, engineer companies. So let's go ahead and modify my templates. Adding engineers to my infantry. All right, and we need let's do logistics companies. And get the additional research slot. Five days. Hungary join the Axis. Hold on. Poland join the Allies. Romania rejects German arbitration. Hungary join the Axis. Okay, Bulgaria. Our justification is complete. Declare war. Send it. All right, our planes. Um, our planes. Get them over the Eastern Balkans. Get them doing missions. Tell these guys to fire off their battle plans. Go ahead and modify my government to do... We can't do it. But we should be alright. Whoa, wait a minute. They put 48 fighters over my territory? Change of plans. Get over here. Scrub the skies of those Bulgarian planes. Uh, can you just, like, march into Sofia there? And all of you guys just launch an attack in there. Wipe those armies out. And that was over fast. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take all states. We have made demands. And turn. And done. 
Bulgaria was annexed. Okay. Let me take a look at you. Should we start justifying war against Yugoslavia? I say yes. And we want Varder Macedonia there. Send that off. Let's get our army on the border. Get these guys set up for a precision. Oh, no, wrong. Uh, set up there. Do a general push. Oh, no, no, no. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Okay. You. We're going to do a general push out to here. And you are going to do a focused attack to Belgrade. There we go. How long is this going to take to justify? Independence of Yugoslavia was just guaranteed by France. Alright then. Cancel justification. What about Romania? Independence of Kingdom of Romania is guaranteed by Great Britain and France. Okay. Well. You know what we... who probably isn't guaranteed by anybody? Turkey. You know what? We're gonna go ahead we're gonna do this. Alright, we're gonna put all our guys on the Turkish border. And take these guys, put them over here, prepare for a push. Push to Istanbul. Push to Istanbul. Uh, we have free factories. Let's get them out. Do we ever get better tanks? No. Let's get some better tanks. Let's get some... Some of that stuff. Shipyards. Okay, we can modify our government as well. Uh, let's see, let's add the ship designer in there. And actually what we're going to have to do is go ahead and end this episode here. Uh, we were able to bring Bulgaria down and our first conquest on a long road. What I'm hoping is that we're going to be able to get Greek, uh, Turkey. I have 54 divisions. And these guys need to get up to full strength. Guaranteed by France. I wonder if, like, once France is gone, we could do that. Alright, well, let's go ahead and end it here. And, uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.